Hi there, it's Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK to my lovely subscribers. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like and share. Today, I wanted to talk about um, the DWP and the bonuses that they're getting. Um, apparently, the Daily Record um, used the Freedom of Information to find out that they were receiving, senior officials were receiving up to 17,000 in bonuses. Um, the admin, they were getting about 500 and some other middle staff were getting about 9,000. But, you know, sometimes I wonder, why are they looking for this information? Why are they making freedom of information requests? What purpose does it serve? They're rubbing our noses in it. To me, that's what they're doing. Because, you know, it's not like by informing us, it's going to stop or it's going to stop them from getting the bonuses or it's going to force them to um, balance the, what they get with what they give out. It's not as if that's going to happen. It's not as if it's going to resolve anything or, or remedy anything. It's not. So I just feel they're rubbing our noses in it when they're letting us know this information, knowing that 1.6 million people are going to food banks, are using food banks, are being referred to food banks. 1.6 million. Christmas, they, they stopped the £10 Christmas little gift that they used to give. And yet they can award their senior bosses that amount in bonuses. Apparently, it's to reward them for their hard work. What hard work? They've just paid out £600 million to a couple of private companies to do the work. So how do they warrant getting those kind of bonuses? That's what I'm saying. It's a breach of fiduciary duty. I said that about the Home Office. It's the same with the DWP. They have no interest. They're supposed to be working in the best interest of the claimant and they're not it's all about making as much money and stopping people from getting money and the more that they stop people from getting the money that they're entitled to the more that they're rewarded that's why the bonuses go from the bottom to the top i mean an admin would be glad to get a 500 pound bonus i know i would let alone those people are getting 9,000, 17,000. For what? For finding fault with claims so that they don't get paid. By putting all of the universal credits together so people don't know what's missing and why they're not getting certain benefits. Because that's what's happening. So they're making savings by what they're not giving uh, to people who are entitled to it and using those savings to pay bonuses. How tragic is that? Um, let me just see. I just wanted to give you a few statistics. Okay. Let's wrap the £10 bonus for people struggling over Christmas. They've inflicted cuts on low-income families. They're rewarding staff with huge bonuses. The Daily Record made a Freedom of Information request, which showed that six staff earned 70000 in bonuses. 183 Grade 6 employers got 1450 in 2017 to 2018. Senior staff got 9500 to 17000 in performance awards. Admin staff got 500 Last year, the DWP bonus bill was 47.2 million, excluding pensions. And the DWP underpaid claimants by 1.7 billion in 2017 to 2018. That's what I mean. What are they going to do with that information? It's fine, you know, getting that information from the Freedom of Information um, people but what are you going to do with it are you going to make them return the bonuses are you going to refund or give the money to those people who were cut short 
No. So why are you telling us this? Sometimes I just think that people just want to rile people up. Honestly, I can't help thinking that because I don't understand the logic of why we're being made aware of all this injustice. Why are we being made aware of it? And nobody's doing anything about it. There should be somebody in power to say, OK, you can't get those bonuses. You're not entitled to them because these people have had their payment benefits cut and we've made a mistake and we're going to look into it. So until we've worked it out, they shouldn't be paid bonuses just because they've made they've saved the DWP or the government money by depriving people, depriving families. That's not how it should work. And I just think it's a shame that, you know, people can make a fuss. People can go, yeah, 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 you know, it's unfair, blah, blah, blah. What difference does it make? What is it going to do? It's not going to do anything. People are going to continue to struggle. The rich are going to continue to get rich. And yeah, like I say, it's an unfair system. And that's all for now. Short and sweet.